President Donald Trump got some encouraging news from the uh, state of Texas this weekend. Texas Governor Greg Abbott announced in a social media post, this was yesterday, that he's, quote, proud to endorse President Donald Trump for 2024 for the presidential nomination. Abbott said in the post on uh, X, they always put formerly known as Twitter. At, at what point do we stop? Do we have to stop saying formerly known <laughs> as Twitter? Uh, he posted on X, today I'm proud to endorse Donald J. Trump for president. Now more than ever, America needs a president who will secure the border and prioritize national security. President Trump is the clear choice to get the job done. Former uh, President joined the governor in Edinburgh, Texas yesterday for Abbott's annual pre-Thanksgiving tradition of serving uh, tamales to Texas Department of Public Safety troopers and Texas National Guardsmen uh, deployed along the southern border under the governor's Operation Lone Star program. The visit was intended to spotlight the combustible issue of illegal immigration and border security. Of course, as you know, Governor Abbott has has stood tall, has tried to fight what's happening, the, the, the invasion at our southern border, even when he has the federal government making it as difficult as possible for, for him to keep these invaders. And, and I, I got a text message a minute ago saying, talking about how so much of the media talks about these these folks being immigrants. They're invaders. They're invading our country. They're coming in illegally. The uh, border, of course, has been a major Republican issue. It was a major issue in 2016 when Donald Trump uh, won the presidency then. He, he pretty much wrapped his entire campaign in 2016 over building the wall. Of course, that was not completed. There's a lot of material that, that Trump bought during his administration just lying on the ground at the border waiting to be installed because Joe Biden has refused to, to continue the building of the wall. Trump pledged to launch the largest mass deportation effort in American history if he's reelected and said that he would reinstate travel bans uh, and his 2019 Remain in Mexico program which forced non-Mexican asylum seekers aiming to enter the U.S. Uh, at the southern border to, to wait in Mexico until their case was resolved. In 2021, Trump endorsed Abbott as the conservative governor who was seeking re-election and faced multiple primary challenges from the right. He, uh, Abbott, of course, overwhelmingly won the renomination in March of 2022 before he defeated his Democrat challenger, representative, uh, former Representative Beto O'Rourke, last November for a third term as governor. Abbott was grateful, he said, for Trump's early endorsement. According to those in the governor's uh, office, he's now apparently returning the favor, offering his support for President Donald Trump in, in this, uh, this re-election campaign of 2024.